Let's talk about how to change the background colour here inside of Illustrator. Now it certainly looks like we have a solid white background here, but let's go up to View, Show Transparency Grid. We see this checkerboard pattern just now, and this is the Adobe way of showing transparency. So what we thought was a solid white background turns out to actually be nothing. If we export it out just now, in a format that supports transparency, such as PNG, we would actually get a transparent background. If that's what you want, that's great. But of course, we're talking about now how to actually change the background color. So let me show you how to do that just now, right after I turn off the transparency grid. So you ready for the fancy high-tech solution? We come over to the rectangle tool and we draw a rectangle the same size as the canvas. Yep, sorry guys, it's as dumb as that. Now with my rectangle selected here in the properties panel, let's change the fill to something like this. And I might change the stroke to nothing as well. That way we won't get any potential weird pencil thin lines showing up on the outside. And guys, we are pretty much done at this point. What I would like to leave you with though, are a couple of tips for how best to use this situation. Now I'm just going to go and grab the selection tool. Now in its current configuration, you are going to be constantly accidentally moving this background rectangle. So let's undo that. Note it is still selected. So at the very least, I would recommend locking this rectangle. And you can do that by going up to Object, Lock, Selection. So note, this guy is now locked down and we can't accidentally move it. Myself, I like to go that one step further. Here in the Layers panel, we get Layer 1 by default. And if I twirl this open, you can see there's our rectangle just there. Notice the padlock icon just there. That's because we just locked this thing. This is actually another place you can lock or even unlock this item. Just basically click in that area to lock or unlock. But again, I said I like to go that one step further and actually create a background layer. So layer one, I'll double click on that text just there and I'll call it background and I will lock this entire layer. At the bottom of the layers panel, I'll then create a new layer and I might call this say graphics. Let's go and grab the ellipse tool. I'll change to white and then let's just throw some circles on the page here. There we go. And if I now twirl open the graphics layer just here, you can see there is all of the content just there. So guys, you don't have to do it that way. It's just a way I like to personally work. So that's how you can change the background color here inside of Illustrator. Sorry to disappoint, but uh, that's just the way it is.